Hello everyone, this will be the review of game Lucid Path and the key was provided by developer. Um, this game can only be described as some um, dungeon crawler with a twist, a very short one. This is a four hours uh, game and I will start with the fact that I would price this game for one dollar because that's what it offers, it's just four hours. Uh, it's more expensive than that, it's probably something between three and four dollars, so um, I would wait for, for sale. But it's a very compact game, I liked it, I played it fully, I just fully finished the game, I was hooked and I played it over two days, in two, um, well, sessions, like three and a half hour, two days, just half an hour, just finished. And I wanted to share it with you because it's actually done quite well for what it is. It's very basic, of course, but it's actually a very nice, interesting experience. Uh, so let's start with options. Uh, as you can see, we have sliders for music and sound. Uh, we can play it full screen or not, and I set it on, en on English, even though I played in Polish. This might be a Polish game. I didn't check it, but it's quite possible. Uh, okay, so let's start from... Uh, this is new save, because I, I was afraid there is no uh, way to clear save, but there is. You can clear save data. So I'm gonna just start completely from scratch, show you the gameplay, just the very beginning of the gameplay and I don't want to spoil the story uh, or the twist, because there is definitely a twist there. So let's try to go through it. Uh, we are this poor nobleman, some guy basically, who uh, goes to the dungeon, uh, to the village actually, there is a dungeon. And I'm gonna show you the, well, all the stuff that's in the village, but we just have to... Um, go through the beginning again, because, you know, there's no way to skip it. I would like to skip it, actually. The way to skip it would be nice. Also, I would like the game to be generally bigger and have some uh, class choice, but because there isn't, there isn't any, sadly. There are no skills as well. It's very it's very linear, I would say. Okay, so yes, this Palmer guy, he's a, a village chieftain, and there is, of course, evil inside, and... He wants us to go to dungeon, right? So this is the dungeon. Uh, can I click something else? No, we have to basically go to dungeon. Uh, this is our HP. Looks very basic, but it, go, it, it goes higher and generally you can improve your character. So you start there, you fight one fight, and then you die. Like this. It just Fight is just automatic. Right? You fight some enemies, then you die, it's over. Like this guy is way too strong. We die, and you are supposed to die. That's always how it be begins. Okay, we have almost nothing. Right, uh, he's going to tell us what we have here. Yeah, we lost our HP, we have to um, get it back. Okay, any building. So, this is the castle where you train. You can fight in the arena, which is... Um, well, it's just a fight where you have to click in the right moment and generally uh, go through the uh, combat, kind of like in the dungeon, but you have to click in the right moment, like a... a quick time event and you can win specific stuff right so if you're interested in any of those uh, rewards you can do that I, I'm not sure if you can refresh it uh, yeah it costs three gold so I'm not gonna uh, you train of course so this is crucial you have to train I train to over 100 in every statistic so you know, you know it goes quite far before you are ready to beat everything all the challenges uh, this is where you work so um, it works like this. You have five mini games that unlock slowly. You go through one mini game, all right, and you can do just this. You can just play this mini game and get some gold. And when you do it, you also get you back your health. It's quite loud, so I'm gonna just leave it maybe like this. All right, let's just stop here. Maybe take gold, right? So we can do this. You can also do um, something else. You can get little gold, but a lot of experience. Let's do this uh, for a minute. Just until I finish. It goes better, because first you get less points, that all speeds up, and generally you fail, but you got uh, your points faster, your progression gets faster, so it's not very long. Stuff like that. There's five mini games that are different, but they're all very uh, skill-based. They speed up uh, rather fast. You're generally going to... Uh, do a little bit, a few seconds, and then fail and do another one. And they can be also upgraded twice. Each of them can be upgraded twice. Uh, there's also a description of them, like, uh, where is it, like this, right? So we have the spaceship, we get 10 points, and so on. Next level 60. I'm not sure what it means, 60. Next level 60. Uh, 60. 60 of what? 
I'm not sure what do they mean by 60. You can upgrade it. Ah, maybe it's 60 rooms. Maybe it's 60 rooms. Does it say here? No. So maybe just 60 rooms uh, of the dungeon. This is possible. Uh, eventually it's going to just um, be unlocked. Training. Okay, so we get experience. This experience, by the way, it's, it's not explained at all. But this is experience I'm going to maybe add to resistance and strength and maybe life. Uh, can we buy something? Uh, maybe. Right here you buy. So this is going to escalate because we start with like lesser stuff and then it goes to be just better stuff. Um, let's just check what. I'm not sure what's the red or what's not. Like is the green better or the blue is better? I think blue is. Yeah, blue is better. We can afford green. Do we want anything? I want a weapon because I have not nothing. But it's too expensive. All right. This is what 100. Yeah, it's all too expensive. I'm just going maybe to. Oh yeah, we can do this. Kill one guy with the spell. All right, let's just do this. Kill the first guy again, and then I'm gonna use this on Dread. Yeah, he's going to die like this, and we get an item. And now we probably uh, we probably lose now. Yeah, we probably will now lose. It's quite loud, by the way. You can speed it up, sort of. Um, right, let me, maybe let's just go to one or two fights. Probably I'm going to stop here because I don't want to go to any story. To, not to spoil anything. I'm going just to stop probably after this one. Maybe we'll upgrade. Uh, and maybe do it once again, I'm not sure. Alright, we have leather boots, so you generally go, go this. Uh, you have to equip the boots. You should spend your money, but we are—we have to work anyway to get uh, HP again. So I have to do one of those anyway. So maybe I'm gonna do this to get the most uh, training. Now it's gonna be loud. Sorry for that, but it's already very silent. But those mini games are quite loud, sadly. I could stop. No, I, yeah, I could stop here, but I would abandon the reward and I want the experience. So maybe we're going to just do stuff. Alright, so I did this. A little money. Can we buy a weapon now? 40. It was 40, right? 39, yeah. I'm gonna just get a weapon. I have to put it here. It would be nice if you could just move it here or, uh, from the start. You don't have to uh, put it to backpack and then equip. It would be faster. Uh, you can also refresh for 3 gold, so that's okay. Mm, Alright, so I'm going to go out of this and uh, train again. Maybe into. Let's go DPS. I want to die quickly, but I want to DPS. Alright, so maybe I'm going to kill the sound a bit more. Like to 5. And one more round, and then I will just sum up the game. Okay. So, besides of what we see here, besides of those uh, around 100 levels that we have to just go through a couple of different areas and uh, progress the story, the game kind of loops itself. You will go through the same stuff in a sort of manner of NG+, with some plot twists and with some, uh, I could say, hard twists. So your, mm, what you see will change to some extent. You might have the game just look different or act a little bit different. There is also mini games in here. There are also mini games inside the dungeon, aside uh, from this very linear combat, very easy one. And aside from the mini games in the uh, town, so it's more than uh, you see here. It's generally more, but I don't want to spoil too much. I just want to say that there is a plot twist. There is something uh, that could be called NG Plus, but it's all within the story. And there is also, um, yeah, there's escalation of equipment, of course. Yeah, we can equip this. We can sell the rest, right? There's, I guess there's a button to sell everything. Is this better? I don't know. No, it's not. Yeah, so I can just uh, sell all right, get rid of that. And the whole shop is going to change when you go to next area, kinda. So it's more than meets the eye. Everything is just four hours long. So as I said before, I would price the game for one dollar. But I would say it's worth getting because it's captivating. It has a good story. It mixes things up. So you will have, uh, you know, a couple of those uh, mini games here, but not very maybe fascinating. But there are also mini games that kind of change the mechanics uh, inside dungeon. So 
it's usually just that you grind, you go back, you heal, you get better gear, you go back to dungeon. But then some stuff is going to happen. You have to play a specific mini game. You generally move a character around and use like one button to attack, and it just changes. It's a few of those uh, within the game. So boss fights kind of work similar. You have the typical boss fight where you just have to have better uh, equipment, but you also have boss fights that are based on mini games. Uh, overall, it was very interesting. Uh, Albite, it's a short, basic game uh, in its core, and it stays like that. It generally, it's this loop, right? You heal, uh, upgrade, uh, you train a, a little bit, right? You train here slightly, uh, upgrade something. Then you go back into the mill and it repeats itself. Uh, it's very grindy and you have to do quite a lot of these to constantly heal and grind some money and grind some training points. So this might be slightly annoying. Uh, I would also say that some of the minigames are a bit too hard. Like, look at this. Uh, I'm just gonna do one. You very quickly can't cope with it because it just speeds up. It just speeds up very very quickly. You can do it for like a minute or two. Look, this is already too fast, right? You can beat it. I mean, you can get the points, you can get the uh, healing, you can get the money, you can get the experience, you can do the quest, but it's just a re repetition of failing. You fail, try again, you fail, try again, you fail, try again. And you cannot rack up high bonus for that. I'm gonna try like this, right? You cannot get a lot. It goes to 1.2, 1.3, 1. 1.5. Now it's 2, right? It's twice the reward. But I'm gonna die in a moment. See, I'm dead. It's just a few seconds. So those are very hard, and some of the mini games uh, in the dungeon were also quite hard for me. I, I for, for, for some minutes, uh, yeah, for some time, uh, I thought I'm gonna give up on the last boss because. It was just too hard for me. I made it, but barely. So, I don't think you can also improve in those mini games uh, because they have slightly different mechanics. Like you cannot improve this, right? You cannot improve this mini game. You just have to be super uh, fast on your re reaction. Just be, have to be very good at this. Uh, so, if you are good, then great. You're gonna get more rewards. If you are just like me, if you are a casual and clumsy guy, then you just have to repeat it. So that's a lot of grinding, a lot of repetition. Uh, also this, it's like, uh, you know, you just repeat it. You know, for instance, let's say that I need a lot of resistance. So I go here, okay, three points, I have to go here and then grind. And it just repeats, right? Do this, do this, do this, do this, in sequence. Same here, if you want like, uh, let's say I want um, this, right? Okay, I can buy it. But let's say something is more expensive, something costs 200. So now I have to grind 200 gold. So let's say I want 200 gold. I'm going here. Oh, sorry, this is just my mi microphone. Uh, I go here, let's let's see how it works. 200. Okay, I, I make 4. I make 10. I'm almost dead, right? I can kind of do it. 24, dead, right? So I have to do it 8 times, right? Mm. Roughly. I have to do it 8 times to just get one item. And mm. It's kind of like that. It's kind of grindy. It's kind of maybe... Might be too hard, might be a bit annoying. But you will progress. Uh, all the time you will progress. Even if, if you just go to the dungeon, kill one guy and get an item, might be a better item, you might sell it. You'll also get a little bit of experience, right? So then you can go here, grab another point, like here, and it's constant progress. And then we get this interesting story and interesting twists, uh, some more mechanics, changed hat, uh, mini games and stuff like that. And then the game kind of loops more than once. So it's interesting. And it's all very compact. I would say the game is very compact. It's one time a uh, roller coaster ride, four hours long, but it's interesting. So uh, how many points I would give it? You know what? I would give it seven out of ten uh, because it's um, it's captivating. It's uh, intelligently done. It's more than what you see. You can see, say, oh, it's just this, right? You buy stuff, you upgrade, you go here, kill a rat, and so on. Yes, it is that, but it's more than that. And it's more than that on uh, more than one level. The game loops, there is mini games that add to, well, just this very basic experience. You have also those, like, uh, you know, four, four of them. Then you can also upgrade them all, so you can play them all, you can try to master them all, you can grind here. You can try to find uh, efficient build. Sadly, there is just one. 
because there is no classes, there is no passive uh, skills or anything like it. So you just basically pump it, right? If something is just too low, say, oh, I, ha I don't have enough HP. So pump it to a thousand. You can, no, no problem. Just pump this, right? Y you think, oh, they hit me too much. Okay, I go there, go resistant, pump it. I not enough damage, pump it, and so on, right? Uh, so you just grind it to like hundred, maybe two hundred, if you want to. Uh, probably would finish the game before you do that. And yeah, that's it. You finish the game. There's no replayability aside from that. Like, I wouldn't play it again. We, I'm just showing you the basics, the first uh, levels, the first tier, we can say, because this is just leather stuff. Then it goes to like a couple more tiers. Like, I'm, I'm not sure how many, but there is definitely a couple more uh, to like, you know, just better materials and stronger stuff. Uh, everything is in, I guess, uh, four or five um, rarity. So, um, yeah, it, it just better version. Like, those shoes are better than those shoes. Then we have blues, uh, gold, and uh, mythical or something like that. Uh, there is no set bonuses. At least I didn't see any, but at least it's, you know, varied a bit. So, overall, a very, very nice game. Uh, I'm gonna leave it uh, like this. Generally, I can recommend it if you can uh, grab it cheap because the price of four dollars, I would say it's too much for that, uh, or three and a half or something like that. I would say it should be one dollar, but uh, it's a positive game. You know, it's a pixel art which I hate. Uh, it's short which I hate. It's not very complex uh, in terms of character progression, and overall, I still like it. So, the developer must have done a good job on this game, actually. It's, as I said, it's just a roller coaster ride. You do it once, you're like, oh, it was fun. And then you deinstall. I'm, I'm gonna deinstall this game now. But I had fun. I had fun for four hours. So, you, ha you can, of course, pay more of, for, for the game if you think that four hours uh, of fun are worth more than one dollar. But, uh, it's actually good. It's good fun. It's, uh, it's a positive experience. So, okay, guys, uh, that was Lucid Path, uh, 7 out of 10. Uh, dungeon Crawler, Pixel Art, Dungeon Crawler with a twist. Very short, 4 hour uh, game, but fun. Uh, and that will be it. I'll see you guys in the next review.